guys and welcome to the channel <laughs> it's your girl here again T um, if you're just seeing my face for the first time my name is T and I'm a Nigerian youtuber based here in the city of Potakot <laughs> wait first let me check if my mic is on okay it's on <laughs> Potakot Nigeria and I film about my life as a mom um, my experiences, my lessons, and every other thing of value, as well as some inspirational content. I just bring it to you guys. And if you're an OG, thank you for clicking on this video and always coming back. I love you so much. So subscribe, please subscribe, like this video, share this video, turn up your post notifications so you get notified whenever I drop another video. So in today's video <laughs> is violence. <laughs> I came with violence in me to unleash, <laughs> to explode. <laughs> but some of all these things I want to say, you guys are not aware, but I'm going to be opening your eyes to see that <laughs> shouldn't be doing this if you're already doing it. So today I'll be sharing with you guys some of the things you shouldn't do when a woman just gives birth. I'm talking about either a first time mom or a returning mom. In fact, Whenever you give birth, you are always a first time mom because <laughs> you are starting another process all over again. Yes, you might you might you might now know some some of it, but at least this is another process and you are starting it afresh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know. Maybe I need water. When I'm the oh, oh is the violence in me. <laughs> Your body cannot take it. Okay, guys. Without any further ado, let us go right into this video. Number one. Thing you shouldn't do when a woman gives birth is do not bombard her with calls <laughs> some of you do not know in fact i was a victim of this i do not i did not know when i just heard that ah madam so so and so has given birth mm, you see me i've carried my phone me, me, me. hello ah congratulations so thank god for the baby oh sometimes the lady is going through a lot you don't even know if the woman gave birth through caesarean session or she just had an episiotomy. Is it episiotomy? Yes, episiotomy. And she's going through excruciating pain. You don't know how long the labor was. And that call at that time, <laughs> she does not need it. She just needs to rest because labor is a lot of stress. And she has gone through a lot. I kid you not. And you bombarding her with so many calls. Some of you will call like ten times. Ah ah. If you want to check on the mother, call the call the husband. You can try to reach out to the husband, or you send her a message. She's going to reply. You know this thing may happen to me. I know yes, everybody wishes me well and all of that. They may not know. Like me, I didn't know. I. In fact, my friend had to collect the phone and then switch off my phone because it was too much. I was not even sleeping. If I say, okay, let me just close my eyes and sleep, they've called me. Hey, I know, yeah, they are so happy. Safe delivery. I know you are happy. But then, I think just try to give her a break. Do a message. I think that is more appropriate. Do a message. Call. Don't call yet. Like, call the husband. I mean, call the husband. Let him know that you send, you send your regards to the wife. And then later, when they are home, relax, you can now call them. <laughs> so after this thing happened to me, that's when I knew. I stopped it. When a woman gives bed, I don't call. I try to give the woman some time to relax, to rest, get home, get a grip of herself, and then I can now call. Or try to do a message first and promise I'm going to call at a particular time if it's okay with them. The next point next thing you shouldn't do when a woman gives, gives birth I know okay after the call then you have to plan to visit so the next thing you shouldn't do do not visit the baby empty handed yes I said what I said do not visit the baby empty handed how can you go and see a newborn empty handed even Jesus Christ when he was born the three wise men went with is it gold frankincense and is it male or whatever do you was it Gold, uh -huh. gold, frankincense, and men. They didn't even go to see him empty handed. Eh? You will see somebody will come and see a baby. You will not even buy, even if it is one bottle of water. Okay, or even if you use this one bottle of water, or just a sachet of detergent. Okay, if you should use this um, um, sachet of detergent to wash my baby's clothes, or you must not bring any, everything like your initial matters. Can you come and see a, a, a baby empty handed? 
If you don't have anything to buy, even if it's five naira, put it in the hand of the baby. Give them, don't come and see a baby empty handed. I'll burn now. And I'm sure these babies in their mind will be saying, Look at this aunt. You don't even see me without bringing anything. Mommy, don't give her coke. Mommy, don't give her Martina. And they won't give you Martina if you still drink. You will not say, Oh, madam, thank you. <laughs> I just dropped a left foot. <laughs> when you are going to see a newborn, always try to give, even if it's something small, you know, something small. I'm not saying that you should give the whole world, though. something small. The, your intention. The intention matters, not actually the gift. Now, the third thing you shouldn't do when a new baby is born is do not carry the baby until you are being offered. Some of you just know how to pass your boundary. You will just go to see a newborn. Maybe the baby is even sleeping inside the cotton. You will just go, hey, congratulations, sir. You will go and carry the baby. And see, did they send you? Uncle, did they give you the baby? I know, yes, so it's your baby. You were there, you were even there when she comes. In fact, you were even in the bedroom when the other and your wife were doing the do. <laughs> sit down, sit down, you see that's it that they gave you. Sit down there. Don't carry the baby until you are offered. If they want you to carry their baby, they will go inside. Even if the baby is in the room sleeping, they will go inside. I've got to see a baby before. And I just started like the parlor, just with the mom and all of that. And the baby was even sleeping. And they went into the room and they brought the baby for us to carry. Don't offer to carry the baby until you are giving. Sometimes some of these babies, they come with, you know, you don't even know the health condition of the baby at that time maybe they're trying to curb infection and all of that and you you're not even washing your hands you don't have carry baby <laughs> to your chest and that polo you have not washed ever since you bought it <laughs> auntie uncle please stop it try as much as possible to sit down understand boundaries you know in nigeria we don't understand boundaries and i don't know why try sit down don't carry the baby until you are offered to carry the baby if you are enjoying this comment in this video, please just be dropping the online comments in the <laughs> in the comment section. I want to know if you guys agree with some of these my thoughts because all these things have been happening time and again, and I just decided that ah, why not I come and tell people, let them know that it is what it is. Like we don't have to be keeping quiet anymore. So the um, fourth thing you shouldn't do is even when you offer the child, try and wash your hands. You get. You know these children, they just came and they are so fresh, they are so innocent, like <laughs> they are so clean. You, you are already used to the environment, yeah, your body can withstand this, please. You don't even know the microorganism that is already hiding in your fingernails and in your hands. Try and wash your hands. Just tell the mom, please excuse me, can you get me a washing water or and a, maybe a soap? Let me just wash my hand before I carry the baby. Please try as much as possible to wash your hands before carrying the baby. In fact, right, mothers of nowadays are beginning to be aware of some of these things. Before you even enter, they've already dropped rubber and then something one play. Go say, oh yeah, oh, I feel. Go and wash your hand. <laughs> before you even enter inside, you are washing your hand before you come inside the house because they know that you have to carry the baby before you leave. In it. So the next thing you shouldn't do when you are being given a child or when you go and visit a new baby is do not kiss the baby how bad how bad so people don't even i don't even understand how some people like don't kiss the baby why would you kiss the baby why i've seen these times and again and i wonder if i the day i gave birth my mom was even telling me when i i was already out and she was like ah, do you know they just brought a newborn and these people have started kissing the baby and uh, like don't kiss the baby let the baby be, auntie. Don't kiss the baby. Don't even know if you have brushed your mouth like that. It's not even about whether you have brushed your mouth or not. Don't. It's not right. It's not right. Don't kiss the baby. Okay? I know, yes, you love the baby. Oh, I know, yes, you love the, you love the innocence of the baby. But do not kiss the baby. Let the baby be. Please. I Please, please, please. I know, yeah, it comes with an oh uh, feeling, but don't kiss the baby. And my final point here is do not stay long. Mm hmm. Mm. Some of you, except you're even coming to help, oh, 
If you are coming to help, yes, you can stay at least. You are coming to help the mother. You are coming to help them wash. You are coming to help them clean. You are coming to help them do one or two or two things. Not that you are coming there to just sit down. I am expecting breakfast. You are expecting lunch. You are expecting dinner. And tea, you are come to see the baby. Give your baby the gift. Pray with them and leave. Mm? Leave. Stay there. Oh, I'm not saying she should not stay there, but don't stay too long because the mother might need to go and rest. You know, if you are dead now, she'll just be there gisting with you from one gist to another. And she has not slept all night because the baby has dealt with her all night. You know, those children, they will not sleep all night. Then during the day, when, you should, when, when, when they're supposed to be sleeping, that way they're supposed to be awake, that's when they'll be sleeping. And you know, the mother needs to catch some nap and all of that. So if you are there, she might not be able to leave you, but she might feel, oh, it's rude. Oh, I don't want to offend this person. Oh, I don't want to do this. Uncle and brother, please, just stay. Even if it's an hour, 45 minutes, do not let it exceed an hour, except maybe you are helping them with something to get so the mother can rest, you know? The mother can rest. I said, I don't want this video to be too long. So I've just, hope I've been able to <laughs> bring it for you and not, <laughs> why some of these points are so important. You shouldn't joke with them at all. When a baby is born, Try to do some of this thing and find peace. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, this is not my usual video, but I decided to bring it up. Um, so I've come to the end of this video. Thank you so much and I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed it. Like this video, subscribe if you're yet to subscribe. Drop me a message in the comment section. I will really appreciate that. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. And most importantly, take care of yourself. You are important. You are worth it. You are of essence. See you guys in my next video. Ciao.